Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rafia and this is being Rafia Exclusive Talks. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Rafia. I'm a child of God. I am a songwriter, gospel recording artist, and I am your friend. So please subscribe to this channel if you have not, and then please hit the notification bell so you'll be notified anytime I post a new video. Now, if you're already on this theme, thank you so much for coming back. It means so much to me and I am super, super grateful let's move right into today's video okay now today i am going to be sharing a verse that the lord has laid on my heart this week it's a simple verse in isaiah chapter 60 verses 22 i just want to share this to someone because i believe strongly that someone needs to hear this and isaiah 60 22 says a little one shall become a thousand and a small one a strong nation i the lord will hasten it in its time now I, isaiah chapter 60 is one of the one of the um, most assuring chapters in the bible and um, it starts with arise and shine for your light has come and the glory of the lord is risen upon you da, 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 da. maybe if you have your bible with you, you can just pick it up quickly and then read what what it says to you it's such a beautiful promise and it's such a beautiful beautiful thing that the lord is saying to um, his people in israel and then after all the things that the lord was going to do for them the last verse said that's 22 it says a little one shall become a strong shall become a thousand sorry and a small one a strong nation i the lord will hasten it in its time okay i i want us to concentrate more on i the lord will hasten it in its time okay so there are so many things that god has promised as there's so many promises in the word of god that gives us hope and then um, increases our faith in the lord and what he has said he's going to do for us but sometimes we forget that it's going to happen in its time okay there's a time for everything that's what ecclesiastes tells us there's a time for everything so when the time is right for that blessing trust me the lord is going to hasten it so whatever somebody has used maybe 10 years to achieve it's possible that you're going to use just one month to achieve it because it is time for that particular thing so i just came here to encourage you in the lord that in it's time the Lord will make it happen. I don't know what the Lord has told you. I don't know what you have been promised, but I just came to assure you that it's going to be hastened in its time. It's not just going to happen, but it's going to be hastened. And so you, you're going to see things just happen for you one after the other. It keeps it will just keep happening to you, and people are just going to marvel at the the pace at which the Lord is taking you. So I pray for you, be, beloved, and I, I pray for you that the Lord will give you strength, even as you you wait on him for that particular season and time that he has promised to deliver whatever he wants to deliver to you so just don't give up victory is ahead of you and in its time the lord is going to hasten it and it's going to blow your mind and everyone around you i pray for you nobody around you will ask you where is your god because you're going to see the marvelous works of the lord in your life thank you so much for coming by and watching this video god bless you let's pray before i take leave of you heavenly father we thank you for your word we thank you that in its time you're going to hasten it whatever that we feel that has delayed in our lives we thank you that when the time is due it's going to come fast than we, we can ever imagine. Thank you so much that Lord delay is not our portion because you're going to make everything happen so fast in its time. We give you praise in the name of Jesus. Now, if you're watching me and you've not given your life to Christ, you cannot experience this that I'm talking about. This is for the children of God. It is for the chosen ones. And how do you come into the family? By accepting the Lord Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior. So if you have not, this is a privilege. This is a great opportunity to do that. So say this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I come to you just as I am. I give you my heart. I give you my life. I believe that Jesus is Lord and he came to die for me and I am saved in the name of Jesus. Say devil, 
I do not belong to you anymore. I have found a new father and his name is Jesus Christ, the son of the living God. Amen. Hallelujah. If you just said this, hey, you are born again and we are so glad to have you in the family. And guess what? Heaven is rejoicing with you. Welcome to the family. We welcome you. God bless you. And I'll see you in my next video. Please subscribe if you have not. God bless you. I love you. Bye.